Hey everybody, Brett from Stardews Gaming here, back with another much anticipated episode of our Clash of Kings mod Let's Play. So, in the last episode, basically everything changed. Uh, the Red Wedding happened, King Rob Stark was killed, we were forced to flee the north for fear of the Bolton's retribution, and so now we're in Essos, trying to make a living, trying to um, bolster our strength and find a way back to the north for some revenge. So to that end, we're going to be running around today uh, trying to complete some quests, um, getting as much renown and as much uh, experience as we can so we can get some level ups, uh, expand our party. I'd feel pretty good about having like 180 to 200 men going back to the north, um, so that might take us a while to get there. Um, but we're going to work on it and see what we can do. Uh, there's obviously a few smaller factions that we could try to uh, conquer along the way to bolster our strength. Maybe get some uh, other lords to join our cause and uh, help us, you know, take back the north. So, before we get started today, just want to remind you guys to hit that like button if you're enjoying the series so far and you'd like to see more. And don't forget to subscribe as well, it's the best way to help the channel grow. And it's the best way to follow along with this series or any other series on the channel that you might be enjoying. So... Let's head back to Brywine here. We need to turn a quest into the village elder. Uh, we were killing some smugglers for him. And then we need to take a look around the village again and see if we can't find a particular uh, murderer that uh, has a bounty on his head. So, apparently uh, Sir Roman Corbury leveled up from that. Uh, my relations with them deteriorated. Um, you disappoint me, Rook Raven Tree. There were three groups that I asked you to hunt down. Three. Um, I killed as many as I could find, so sorry. Apparently they don't like me anymore, even though I did kill some of the smugglers. Um, not what I'm trying to do. I need to go to the village center. And we're going to take one more peek around the village and see if we can't find this murderer and bring him to justice. Um, we didn't have any luck, any luck last time we were here. So, I'm not going to hold my breath, but it's worth another peek, just so I don't fail the quest. Um, that is my brother on a horse, not anybody that I'm looking for. Uh, somebody said that if you go back during the uh, day, you can find the people that are, you know, hiding. But I'm pretty sure we did it during the day last time, and oh, well, it looks like he's here now, so it appears to have all worked out. You there. I'm looking for a murderer by the name of Barabas the Small. You fit his description. I don't understand, sir. I've never killed anyone. I think you've got the wrong man. Then drop your sword. If you're innocent, you have nothing to fear. We'll go now and talk to your neighbors, and if they verify your story, I'll go on my way. I'm not going anywhere, friend. You're going to have to fight for your silver today. Well, that's not a problem. I really only needed your head. Oh, I already have my sword out. Here, have an axe to the chest, and then uh, I'm going to stab you. Excuse me, miss. Uh, I'm trying to fight here. Sir, uh, we're, we're in the middle of something. Yeah, keep running. I'll just keep hitting you with these. Ow! Or, or not. Apparently he's hitting me even though he's not swinging. Oh. Robert Raventree coming through on his horse. That was... That was a bit overkill, but I'll take it. Alright, so let's be on our way. Actually, that reminds me. Um, I need to get onto a different horse. So we're actually going to take hooves here and we're going to ride him around for a little bit. Uh, thank you uh, Titus for letting me borrow your horse. And we need to find the Lord who commissioned us on that quest. So Sea Lord Ferrago and Tarion and let's see. Yeah, that's the only one. We'll head back to Bravos where hopefully he is waiting for us. I am not counting on it though. I guess we could ask one of his lords if they don't continue to run away from me. That must be him right there. Perfect. So we'll let him know that justice has been served. Oh, it looks like Norvos has declared war on them. 
I don't know how much I'm going to get caught up in uh, SOS politics here. Let's see, about the task you gave me. I found him and I brought him to justice. Um, I would prefer to take the honor. Thank you very much. And that will be all. Unless you have anything else for me. Apparently you do not. Okay, so let's maybe head back into Bravos real quick and uh, see if there's any quests floating around for us. Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, there should be somebody in here worth talking to. Here he is. Gorbo. Yes? Do you know of anyone who might have any tasks for me? I did hear a rumor a few days ago. Fario Farrell, the old playwright, is looking for someone to search some old tomb. He'll probably be here in a couple of hours. For some reason, he's infatuated with Mary. Okay, well, is Mary here? Because if he's... If she's not, then, uh... Oh, yeah, she's here. So, I guess we can expect him to be by shortly. Now, while I was waiting for the playwright to return, I happened upon a man who was looking for work. And he looked to be a little bit different than your average sort of sellsword. Um, he was actually a former baron in a distant land, and, uh... Through some hardships over his uh, journey, managed to find his way in Bravos, uh, very much down on his luck. So let's go ahead and take a look at him. I'll introduce him to you guys, and then we will continue about our business. All right, so I'd like to introduce you guys to Lucas of Lorca. He is the former Baron of Lorca, as you may have guessed. And uh, he's made his way all the way from there to Essos, where he's had some really rough times along the way. And so he's looking for a new purpose and some work and basically just some direction. And so hopefully he can find that in our party. Um, let's go ahead and check out his backstory. So Lorca is located in a land far from Essos and even farther from Westeros. For years, the Baron of Lorca, Lucas, had toiled under the rule of a tyrant. Finally, having enough, one day, Lucas sold all he could not take with him renounced his title, and fled Lorca with his two sons. Arriving in Essos, the former Baron faced many hardships. Men hired by his former lord to pursue him managed to kill his youngest son, and not long after, the eldest took ill and died. Now traveling alone, and with nothing left to lose, Lucas finally arrived in Bravos looking for work. So thank you very, very much, Jacob Ryla, for submitting this character. Um, and thank you to all of the subscribers who have submitted characters thus far. Uh, if you'd like to get a character in the game, first thing you need to do is obviously subscribe. And then the second thing you need to do is just go ahead and uh, put your character out there in the comments. And uh, the more you flesh them out, the more likely they are to get in the game. Also, the more active you stay in the comments, uh, the more likely I am to notice you and put your character in as well. So, uh, once again, thank you to everybody who submitted the characters so far, and uh, let's get back to... Actually, no, let's not get back to what we were doing. Let's take a quick look at his gear, and then we'll uh, see if the um, playwright has arrived in the tavern. Okay, so here we have Lucas's gear. Um, he is wearing the, uh, the male hauberk of the Barony of Lorca, so it's got the... Uh, the heraldry on the chest there, you can see it's the castle over the clouds with the uh, red and yellow uh, diagonal stripes. And he's also carrying a heater shield with the heraldry on it as well. Um, he has a lance, a spiked mace, and a curved sword, um, male boots and gauntlets, and a timid courser uh, with no armor. And then this kettle hat is also his, so we'll throw that on him now. And that's his gear. So he's pretty decked out. Hopefully he can be a asset to our force. It looks like he will be. Um, I'm sure that he is going to pack quite a punch with all the armor and stuff that he's gone and got on and all the uh, weapons at his disposal. So there he is. That is his gear. Let's get him up to the rest of the cavalry. Um, I think we'll put him right underneath Sailman Rivers there. And that looks pretty good. And then we need to level up Sir Royman while we are here. Um, you're pretty damn strong already. 
let's get you some intelligence maybe and then I'd like to put that into iron flesh because the longer you stay alive the more damage you can do and then I think shield might be a good idea actually let's just go power strike let's make him as devastating a weapon on the battlefield as possible so there we go and with that let's go ahead and head back to the tavern where hopefully the playwright is awaiting us so where might he be that's not him that's Gorbo so is he here Sea Lord's Guard. No, I don't see him. We might have to wait a little bit. Ah, here he is. Fario Pharrell. Do you happen to have any tasks for me? The father reached his hand into the heavens and pulled down seven stars, and one by one he set them on the brow of Hugor of the Hill to make a glowing crown. Eh? It's from the seven-pointed star, you ignorant savage. Bunch of Westerosi nonsense, but they did get the crown part right. Of course, it's not made by a god. Hmm, go on. The Andals wrought many fine treasures out of gold and copper. I have every reason to believe one of them might be buried in an old barrow, close to the ruins of Ixacalo. I need Andal treasures for my next play. The barrow is supposed to be haunted by whites and the ghosts of Andal kings, but it's obviously just the wild rumors of madmen. Very well, I'll search for your Andal treasures. So, let's go ahead and take care of that. Now, I'm not entirely sure where this is, so let's take a quick look. Um, ruins of Ixacalo in the Old Barrow. Okay, we need to bring at least seven men. We have uh, 120 more than that, so we should be just fine. There's an Old Barrow, but I don't believe that is the correct one. So, where might this be? That's the only Barrow, I see. Uh, maybe we should go into this and look for Ixacalo. There it is. Show me on the map. Oh, then I guess that is... Yeah, okay. There it is right there, so that must be it. All right. So I've been kind of thinking about what kind of moves we should make while we're here in Essos, and I think Lorath presents an interesting opportunity for us to maybe begin our kingdom before we even return to Westeros. So that's something I'm considering. Um, the plan right now, as it stands, is um, you know whether or not we decide to go at Lorath. Um, when we return to Westeros, it's going to be in Sisterton, where we're going to take the three sisters and use that as a stepping stone to launch into the north. So we'll have a base of operations here that is more or less untouchable by the, uh, the northern armies, and so we should be able to take advantage of that. Alright, so you arrive at the old barrow. The forest here is old and devoid of human civilization. The trees are gnarled and ancient, and the rocks are overgrown with moss and lichen. Okay, it is quite foggy here. Let's get our stuff out. And it looks like we've got Robert, Rylan, and Roderick with us. With a name with... A <laughs> With a name that starts with an R like that, he may as well be one of the, the brothers Raven Tree. So let's head this way. I see a fire in the distance. Are you guys going to follow? Okay, here we go. Um, let's see. Apparently I can't tell them to draw their weapon, so hopefully they do it quickly enough. There's somebody out there. This is going to get interesting, I'm sure. Yep. I thought as much. Oh, but they don't have any armor or anything. No point in even trying to block. They can't really do much with those daggers. Rylan, why are you using a lance? That's a terrible idea. 
Good job, Roderick. Let's head in further. And, okay. Wait, we've been defeated? What? Well, we got nine renown. How are we defeated? I don't understand that. Did we at least get the crown? Uh, it doesn't appear that we did. So what do we need to do now? That was weird. Um, return to him. Okay. It's, it's kind of odd and buggy. We definitely do not have any sort of crown, though. Make sure it's not, like, hiding in my food or something. No. No crown. So that's a bit disappointing. Did we fail? That's so odd, because we won. Like, we killed everybody without any issue. Uh, the kin of a farmer slain in one of your battles brings a suit against you requesting compensation. Sure, I'll pay them. Although that actually hurts my renown. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Alright, so hopefully this was a success. Let's see... I didn't find any treasures. Truly? Oh, the curse of the sea upon that old fool. The third sword swore that I'd find what I seek in that barrow. We got some experience at the very least. So, let's be on our way. And just making sure... Still no crown. So that's... Disappointing, but at least we completed that quest. Now, I hear tell that there is another adventure waiting for us in Pentos, so we're going to head down there next. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys when we get there. So, I've tracked down some broken men here. I figure we fight them just so we get some combat in in this episode. Um, at the very least, we'll free some prisoners, although not that many. But, um, yeah, let's get some fighting in. Okay, everybody with me, if you please. Hopefully this uh, round C is a little bit quicker than my my currently lame, uh, I believe it's a Destrier. It certainly feels a little bit quicker. I didn't bother to look at the stats, I probably should have. Okay, archers, why don't you hang out here. Infantry, advance down slope. Pikemen, you can go just beyond them. Cavalry... Go wait on the hill over there. Are they even coming? There's only a handful of them, so I could probably just charge them and be fine. In fact, yeah, let's just do that, because I can't seem to see them. Which means if I wait for them, it's going to take a very long time. Okay, apparently they are over here. This horse is a little bit slow as well. There they are. Okay. I think I've got you. Yep. And let's move in for another kill. I don't quite hit hard enough to uh, break through that armor in one shot. Damn it. Okay, now I'm stuck. Alright, I think that's just about all of them. There should be like one, maybe two left. Excuse me. Alright, well, that's... That's basically gonna do it. He somehow managed to squeeze his way out of there. Okay. Perfect. Anybody level up at least? Um, Torin did. And that's it. Oh, wait, no. We've got some Pullman leveling up. So Stor Stormlands Archers. How did you come by Stormlands Archers? My army's full, and I don't need Stormland's troops, so I guess I'll pass. And got a crude chainmail coif. I'll take that, I suppose. 
Uh, anywho, I was headed to the wrong place. Uh, Pentos is not where the quest is. It's actually in Norvos. So we're going to Norvos, and I I'll guess I'll see you guys when we get there. Um, wait, let's level Torn up while I'm here. So let's check out your skills. Um, wow. Okay, I'm going to give you some strength. Or sorry, some intelligence. And let's get your Iron Flesh and Power Strike up. I'd like to make these guys into competent warriors first and then worry about their other stats. And you really need some weapon skills. Anybody else? Got some veteran longbowmen there. And that'll do it. So I'll see you guys when we get to Norvos, I guess. Alright, so here we are in Norvos, and we're going to head into the castle, where there should be somebody waiting for us. Ah, uh, that's not him. Holy guard, that's not him either. Uh, none of these people are them, actually, so... Rayma of the Hills. You must be Rook Raventree. My husband, Tycho Melas, has spoken most highly of you. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. Um... Interesting. Well, you're not who I'm looking for, although it's... Nice to meet you. So, where might this person be? I don't know if this is going to go anywhere, but it's certainly worth a look. Melario, that might be who we're searching for. My lady, may I know more about you? No, but perhaps you can acquire my favor by helping out a dear friend. Find Moreto Tenderis and talk to him. He's probably in the tavern. He has a weakness for music. Okay, well, I can certainly do that. So, into the tavern we go. And that's just a tribesman. There he is, Moreto. Lady Melario said you were looking for help. Ah, yes, caravans have been disappearing in the pass of Hugar Hill. I suspect a band of outlaws might be using one of the caves as a hideout. What would you like me to do about it? Go and search for the cave and kill any outlaws you find. Anything else? You'll need to deal with the outlaws yourself. You'll never be able to surprise them by lumbering around with half an army. Very well then. I will do my best to take care of that. Hopefully we don't need to like garrison our army somewhere. I don't know that we can really do that right now. Where's... where's Robert? Oh, behind the bar, of course. Right. Well, do you guys have any horses? No. Uh, I could certainly use some more food, though. Let's see, grapes, grapes are fine, let's throw them down there, some more bread certainly wouldn't hurt, maybe some more fruit, and let's get some more cabbage, and I guess I'll take some chicken, because why not, actually give me some pork instead. So where exactly are we headed here? They weren't exactly clear about which way I was supposed to go. So the Lost Cave, um, close to Olentor. Okay, I can do that. So it must be this old cave right here. All right, so I'm assuming this old cave is our target. I don't see anybody else around. Uh, you arrive in an outlaw lair, sheltered amongst the hills of Norvos. The lair is situated at the perfect spot for hiding. Um, I'm going to leave for a second because this lance is going to do me absolutely no good. Although I don't really have any ranged weapons either, so I guess I'll just leave it. Still lame, unfortunately. That's kind of disappointing. Okay, so here we are. Let's get ready for this. Uh, everybody with me. We've got a pretty good team here. Although I wouldn't mind having one or two more uh, archers with us, but... Every single one of these guys is worth about five, five men, maybe more, so I'm sure we'll be just fine. Yeah, we're not going to be able to sneak up on these guys at all. We're going to have to just brute force this one. Maybe Rylan can set up right here. Huh, they don't really seem to have any... any sentries or anything. It's just, they're all right there. So I guess we're gonna just go attack them. Again, I'm pretty confident in the strength of uh, our group here, so I imagine we'll be just fine. But I, I'm fairly certain that this isn't gonna be 
all of them. There's got to be more. Okay, let's deal with you first. Oh, right in the face. Okay, you're next. Oh, that's Sir Royman. Why am I swinging at you? Bail my brother out right there. And was that it? Apparently not. That or the quest is bugged just like the other one. Oh, cool. That was it. So we get some renown. Not a whole lot, though. And a couple coins. Not much of that either. So is that it? Uh, yeah, return to Moreno Tenderis. So that's what we'll do. And hopefully we get a nice reward for it. But I think we got just about all we were going to get from that. Alright, so we're returning to Norvos. Where we're going to talk to our friend and hopefully get a little bit more money for that. Not that it was... You know, at all a difficult quest, but I certainly don't mind being compensated for my efforts. And with that, we're going to have to find something else to do. There's plenty to do in Essos, quest-wise, so there's certainly not going to be any shortage of stuff. Go away. But we did your quest. Oh, right. Wrong person. Let's talk to her friend first before we talk to her. Um, I took care of the outlaws. Well done. A reward is in order. 2,000 coins, that's much better. 500 experience. I'm happy to have that as well. Now then, we'll return to the castle, where hopefully she's going to be a little bit more friendly toward us. Otherwise, uh, not sure entirely why we did that, other than, you know, the money, which is always nice, but... Go away! Okay, well, apparently that did not increase her favor toward us. What What's up here, by the way? Oh, just a door. Okay, well... That was certainly interesting. Um, I'm going to take a look at the wiki and see if there's any more quests that we can maybe knock out today. Or maybe we should go pick a fight with someone. And then let me know what you guys think in the next... Or in, in the comments, excuse me. But I think in the next episode we might declare war on Lorath and start fighting some of their lords. Um, I don't want to siege them right away because I don't want to be, you know, trying to besiege a castle while I'm getting attacked from behind. So we're going to defeat and imprison as many of their lords as we can, and then we're going to go for Lorath. And um, unfortunately, the Grey Cliffs have fallen to Kohor, so we might have to do something about that as well if we want to take all of this. But honestly, just having a little island of our own would be pretty cool. So we might try something like that. But yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so speaking of Cohort, there is actually a quest in Cohort that we can pick up. Uh, we probably won't be able to complete it today, but it's certainly worth starting because it may result in us getting a Valyrian Steel Sword of our own. So we're going to head down there and start the quest. Uh, we're going to be looking for someone named Citheris in the back room of the tavern. And, oh, we failed a quest. I believe that was for somebody in the north, though, so I'm not all that concerned about it. Let's just keep headed in the same direction. So, let's take a walk around the tavern. And we are looking for... Interesting, Titus joined us on this one. Normally he doesn't come with us because he's so far down the list. So I'm not sure why he jumped in, but there he is. So, who are we searching for? Oh, back room. There he is, Citheris. Yes, another adventurer come to our great city, eh? Looking for Valyrian steel? Tell me more. The best craftsman in the city is Elos Mott. He's the master of the guild of blacksmiths. If you're interested in Valyrian steel, talk to him. Okay. Well, why did you bring up Valyrian steel if you're just going to send me to somebody else? But, all right. Um, we'll visit Elos Mott's shop then. And that must be him, and indeed it is. Yes, I'm Elos Mott, leader of the blacksmiths of Kohor, most gifted of all the craftsmen in the world. Welcome to my shop. So there he said you could tell me more about Valyrian steel. Ah, the bane of my existence. Everyone wants to know about Valyrian steel. 
Why, I ask, when one could also learn about tinted metals, armor strong enough to withstand the blow of a warhammer, or even the precious substance the alchemists call wildfire. But no, always Valyrian steel. Travelers and adventurers, princes and archons, they all come asking about the steel of Valyria. What would you have me tell you that no one does not already know? Valyrian steel is precious, a drunk in a tavern can tell you that. Valyrian steel is indestructible, the same drunk would tell you the same truth. Valyrian steel is the rarest material in all the world, worth lordships and fiefdoms. All the drunks in the world know this. But can I, the master of blacksmiths, reforge Valyrian steel? Yes, I can. I can make new Valyrian steel. Well, time will soon tell. Remember the fate of Maester Pole, and do not inquire into my work or the work of my colleagues. The City Watch will have you if you do, and so will the, the disciples of the Black Goat. But can you reforge Valyrian steel? Yes, I can. Any member of the guild can. However, we do not provide the steel. Even if we had such materials at hand, Tywin Lannister has already paid us good, solid gold to reserve it for him. No, Rookraven Tree, I will gladly reforge a blade for you, but you will need to gather the materials yourself. We once forged a new blade for the Lysine nobleman, Moreto Roguer. Truth, he called it. It was forged from four daggers of Illyrian steel, and the cost was enough to outfit an entire fleet of ships. Gather enough daggers and I will be able to forge for you a new blade of pure indestructible Valyrian steel, worthy of a king, prince, and even a dragon lord. Very well then, we will find some Valyrian steel. I think that's going to take us quite a bit of effort though and be, uh, you know, quite the undertaking. So obviously we won't be able to uh, finish that one today, but we'll continue to work on it. Um, do you guys happen to have any horses? You do have horses, but I don't really want to buy like an unarmored Dothraki horse. Unsaddled too, that just seems kind of weird. It's fairly cheap though. You are not recovering like I had hoped. So I might need to, I don't know, go find a new horse. So let's see. What does Elos Mott need me to do? He told you he can forge a Valyrian blade for you if you gather four daggers of Valyrian steel. Perhaps one of the maesters at the Citadel in Old Town know of a way to gather these items. I don't know that we're going to have time to divert to Old Town, so I might send somebody from our party to Old Town to gather that for me. And in the next episode, hopefully they return in time to let me know what it is we need to find while we're in Essos here. Because obviously, the whole army cannot make a, a diversion all the way across the, basically across the map to Old Town. So we'll send somebody as an emissary to the Citadel and see if we can't find the information we're looking for. But I think we are more or less out of time for the day, so I'm going to go ahead and break off the episode here. And so, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Clash of Kings with you guys. And I really look forward to seeing your new characters in the comments. And uh, look, I also look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode. Once again, thank you so much for watching.